Oh, <sighs> oh well. I'm ready to unbox. Yeah, me too. This box, it's huge. It's long. It's 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 thin and it's long. It's very expensive to ship. 1885. Do you have anything on the internet that you like enough that you would ever spend tw almost twenty dollars shipping to them? No, no. I don't think I even like us that much right. to spend to spend twenty dollars to ship it to my house. I prefer <laughs> this shipping box though because it reminds me of a box of macaroni and cheese. I've never seen this style of box from USPS before, and I thought it was just a fake box that had been made out of two boxes. Doesn't look like it though. I think I've seen this box at the at the post office. The only explanation is it's multiple boxes combined. <laughs> it's from Apple Valley, Minnesota. Listen to that lovely shaking sound. We'll give you first the basic shake. Then we'll give you the horizontal shake. And then the shake junk. Uh, that's that's in a couple months when it gets a little hotter. I've got a new knife, Frankie. This is a Leatherman, super sharp. Leathermans are the best. It is, and I wear it daily now. Having a Leatherman is like a... A sign that you're approaching 40. Yeah. <laughs> it's a way to signify that like, if anyone needs you to contribute or help, yes. you can. From Ben White. Ben White's one of our biggest fans. Okay. He's got a huge beard. Oh yes, a very Santa Claus-esque. Well, uh, I mean, he's very thin. A young yeah, Santa Claus. The beard itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's red though, so yeah. not it's really. Weird. It's from a store that I've never heard of called Coborns. Mm. There's a coupon on the back for something for eighteen ninety-five. dollars so for 10 cents more, he could have gotten something else besides shipping the Mac. Yeah, he could have got an oil change filter and lube. We've got a high v Mac. More high V. We've got a That's Smart. Everyday Essentials White Cheddar Cheese. Never done it. Food Club Dino Mac. I have not seen Food Club since like it's Al Max closed in Dartmouth <laughs> because I used to like the Food Club <laughs> Rice Krispies. Wow. Fast Mac. Whoa. From Chef Carlin. K-A-R-L-I-N. It looks like taco bizarre. seasoning. But I've never seen like a Mac ever come in this format. It's fascinating to me. It looks like half a bag. Because there's powder. Well, that is one of the most interesting Macs we've unboxed. Ever. Agreed. Everyday essential shells and cheese with no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and no synthetic colors. Yeah. They don't say that same thing for the or the white cheddar. There are preservatives, there are artificial flavors. Look, like, synthetic yeah. white coloring. <laughs> We're only halfway through this box. Yeah, I gotta dig a little deeper. Uh, you gotta dig a little deeper. Here's a letter. I'm just making the Macs a disorganized heap. Did you notice my <laughs> disorganized Mac heat? hy V three cheese. I'm excited about there's it. There's suddenly now. an opportunity to do a three, three cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever there's an opportunity to do a three cheese, Junt is there and ready to go. More food club, mini shells. Slightly damaged box. Ah, oh, yeah, it happens. Bloated. Maybe it's just packed with noodles. Now bloated with more noodles. <laughs> Feel how high the noodles go. Oh, yeah. Wow. They go almost all the way to the yeah. tippity tippity. Another Chef Carlin Mac, but it's an eight ounce deluxe. The only other one of these I've ever seen is one of our most dreaded Macs of all time. Our, our least favorite deluxe, what was it, Frankie? Loretta. Loretta. Loretta came in eight ounce packages. Basic everyday essentials Mac here. Um, you know, just your, your run of the mill every day. Ah, so just exactly like the Loretta, they have two varieties. This is also Chef Carlin. And it's the diff only difference is the pasta. Do you think her name was Loretta Carlin? Is that the problem? <laughs> Chef Loretta Carlin. Sour, hot, spicy, flavorful. And the final box of the Mac is a Food Club original. Is that bloated with noodles also? Uh, it's pretty bloated, not as bloated. He did a really nice job of, of giving us sort of show theme. Yeah, he did. Greetings, Frankie and John. I know you love receiving fun, new, exciting boxes of macaroni and cheese. Boy, do I have a box full of letdown for you. <laughs> not this weird taco seasoning, Mac. This yeah. is great. I hope you two are planning on another few renditions of Boring Macs because that's what I have for you. I always search for something new and unique, but all I've found is my local generics. I've always wanted to submit some Macs, so I grabbed what I could find and skipped some of the ultra boring ones because no one wants more spirals. From Cub Foods, which is a Minnesota-based upper Midwestern supermarket, you have Essential Everyday Brand. Coborns is a smaller Minnesota-based supermarket, which I got three different Food Club Macs, all at 79 cents. Last and very much least is Rainbow Foods, a seemingly dying Minnesota supermarket, which has been closing stores all over the place. There's one I found still open that had a very temporary looking outlet sign out front. I know John might appreciate that. I would. The idea the idea of a, of a closing down supermarket, around here they're all the small ones are gone, but the idea of one dying. I'm always on the lookout for dying like record a stores. A sad record store yeah. is always on our list of places to hit up. Music plus.
Music plus. <laughs> there was nothing special in the regular boxed intersection, but one area of the store was everything for a dollar, which is where I found some Macs. I got two Chef Carlin Deluxes, a Mac and a Shells, and also a Sachet. Yeah. Chef so they're repurposed Loretta. I think it, I think it's a, a it's a repurposed Loretta. Well, we got to try it. Yeah, we do. And we puke. <laughs> Please keep up all your amazing work. As long as Red Cow Entertainment produces content, I'll keep consuming it. You guys are seriously the best. I'm so excited for the future of Box Mac and all the great things you have in store for us. Thanks very much, Ben White. How lovely. He's a big How Wild We fan too. Has yeah. listened to the whole libra wow. library of Not pods. Not too many of those. Yeah. If you want to be a true Red Cow fan, go listen to How Wild We. We got another box here, Frankie. A whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> you organized them on top of this, by the way, heavy ass box. Wait a minute. This box cost how much? 1885. And how much did the other box cost? 1885. What? What? <laughs> 1885! 1885! Hold this. If it's priority and it's of a certain weight range, it's 1885. Yeah. So, <laughs> wait, so this is a large flat rate box. What is that class classified as? A large flat rate box. I think they got more value out of this large flat rate box. Any weight. How many pounds? Let's do a quick compare. Pounds. Weighing 98 pounds. <laughs> do you have a heist in the train or a heist in the country? Seven pound, 10 ounce. Seven pound, four, eight ounce. These are both valid baby sizes. You yeah. would not be concerned if your baby was born this size. No. <laughs> <laughs> My boy's a box. Damn you. A box. A box. Belleville, Indiana. Illinois, Il not Indiana. From Mr. Chad. Dierks. Dierks. All right, I'm glad you know how to read names. Illinois names. Indiana names. We named the dog Indiana. Indiana wants Chad. Mac. Max. What? What? Look what we have right here, right off the bat. It's another box <laughs> of Jeff Garland's. What's going what? on? Oh my God, I've never heard of it. And then we get two successive boxes that have it. We also keep getting this stuff, yes. this truffle. Uh, but Stop. this one is new. This is a sun-dried tomato and mascarpone mac. I think we should form that into a, yeah. a show. Yeah. That's a complete show right there. To quote Ricky Ricardo, the time has come. The time has come. What is that? It's the chef. <laughs> Boxes cost the same. They got similar macs. <laughs> Did they all just ship at the same time to the, all these stores and everybody's like, oh, got to get these for the yes. guys? Yeah. Potato chips. What show does he think we do? We don't do bag chip. Is there a letter in there? <laughs> no, there's no letter. There's no explanation as to why they said it's potato chip. <laughs> Old Vienna, red hot ripplets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says, ripplets. Ever since last night, I've been ripping red hot ripplets. <laughs> they always fizzle out at the end. <laughs> this is flavored with St. Louis style hot sauce. This box is not from St. Louis. You just insist on using the Leatherman for this? <laughs> <laughs> yep. See how see how beautifully it cut that? Shred your mama's head like a cabbage. Frankie, are you a fan of barbecue chips? Yeah, get on with it, would you? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make the content. Yeah. They're pretty good. Actually, I think they have a mild barbecue flavor, which, yeah. I, which I like. You know what it is? Oh, yeah. Handicap fries. But a little more and barbecue. The, the hot fries. And they're pretty hot. I will need a drink. A drink. A purple drink. Woo! Right. It's hot! I'm sweating. Schnucks Deluxes. I never heard of Schnucks. That's a awful name for a brand. It sounds like the kind of thing that Paula would call her sister. Allie, you Allie. schnuck. Uh. Schnucks Original and White Cheddar. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Double Schnucks, yeah. We got a double Schnuck situation. A double truck, double Schnuck. Are they the same exact things? No. Oh. One's a White Cheddar. Deerbergs. Improved, cheesier taste from Deerbergs. But it wouldn't dare spell cheese right, yeah. because what if it's not real cheese? Because there's not real cheese in there. Look at this Times New Roman font on the side. Oh. No pantry should be without a box of Deerberg's macaroni and cheese. I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up on this episode. Okay. We have a fresh and time farmer's market organic. It's even got bees on the cover. There's actually multiple bees. Three bee per bee. I wanna count how many we were just sent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24. 24 B plus a bag of chips. All that and a bag and of I potato chips. Right so when we make a Halloween episode, we're like, they ran out of Max. Don't believe us, please. Fortunately, <laughs> Chef Carlin is, is a double. Is that the concept for this year's Halloween special? It was last year's. It was it? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for sending in these wonderful Max. You'll see them on programs throughout the coming century. We hope that they don't expire. All right, good night. Good night. Good night.